Now we move away from the world of classful IP addressing to classless addressing. Why? Well, because, for example, if you pick a class C address, 200, 10, 10, 10. So 200, 10, 10, 10, slash 24, since this is a class C address, or the mask being 255, 255, 255, or represented as slash 24, the network address is 210.10.0. The range of addresses that can be derived from this is dot one through dot 254, dot 255 being a broadcast. So you can get 254 addresses using a class C address space. If you pick a class B address space, you get more addresses than 254. In a class C, uh, class A address range, you get a huge number. 16777214, I believe. What if your company asked you to purchase IP addresses for them and they wanted 30 addresses? Well, if we were still using class A, B, and C, you could come back with the class C range, but you would have still bought 254 addresses. So, cause, because you would have to buy the whole class, the whole range. So if somebody asked you to spend, let's say these addresses cost $1,000 a month, and they asked you to spend $30,000, and you spend $254,000, you're in trouble. So class full IP addressing won't work if we need addresses less than 254. So let's pretend our company needs 30 addresses. How do we do that? Let's start with an IP 150.101.45.0. Now this technically is a class B address because it falls within the range of between 128 and 191. So this should be a slash 16 or 255.255.00. What happens if I give it a slash 27 mask? Well, the first thing I want to find out is what would the mask look like in dotted decimal? This is the CIDR notation, the slash format. What would the mask look like? What would it be? 255, 255, 255, something, right? Well, 24 bits are definitely turned on in the first three octets. So the first three octets would simply be 255, 255, and 255. So the first octet is all ones, which gives me eight bits. The second octet is all ones, which gives me a total of 16 bits, 8 plus 8. And then the third octet is also all turned on, which gives me plus 8, 24 bits. Three extra bits are turned on in the last octet, or the fourth octet. Let's find out what that does. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. 32, 64, 128. So three bits turned on here. And the rest are off. If I add up 128, 64, and 32, I get 224. So the mask and dotted decimal would end up being 255, 255, 255, 224. How many total hosts can I have in this network? Let's find out. You start at 150.101.45.0. This is my network address. I look at the value of the last bit turned on in the subnet mask. Hence, I put a square around it. The value of the last bit turned on in the subnet mask is 32. Remember this rule. This gives me my block size. Now, what do I mean by block size? See in a second. So always remember, when solving questions with classless IPs, always turn the subnet mask into binary, and you don't need to turn the whole mask into binary, because the first octet, second octet, and third octet are all ones. The fourth octet, the relevant octet that you're working in, you can turn it into binary, and look at the value of the last bit turned on. So 27 bits turned on, or slash 27, simply means 8883. 
and I only drew out the last octet with the three bits on, because the first three octets are all ones anyways. So when you look at the value of the last bit turned on, this gives me my block size. That simply means that if this is my first street or my first network, my next street starts at 150.101.45.32. I just added 32 to 0. My next street would start at 150.101.45.32. And I would keep adding 32. How did I get 64? I added 32 again, and I got 64. If I add 32 again, if I had space, the next network or the next street would start at 96, and so on and so forth, all the way till 255. So my first valid host for this first street, or my first valid house address, is dot .1. My last possible address on this street would be dot .31. However, remember the rule, the last possible address on any network is your broadcast. So my valid range would be between 1 and 30. So 150.101.45.1 would be my first valid address. 150.101.45.30 would be my last valid address. Did I get 30 addresses? Yes. Did we need 30? Yes. What I'm looking for from you, if I ask you to go by 30 addresses, is an IP address with a slash 27 mask, or a 255-255-255-224 mask. Again, the next street over, my first valid would be 33. My last possible address would be dot .63, which is my broadcast. My last valid address, which is assignable, would be 62. And my range is, again, total of 30 addresses. This would be my valid range. Now, could I use that 2 to the power n minus 2 formula here? Of course I could. How many host bits do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 to the power 5 minus 2. 2 to the power 5 is 32 minus 2 equals 30. 